Yo, what is up guys? Johnny Geiger here. Today's video will be about the top 10 most hated tricks in skateboarding 2020. I've been asking people what tricks they hate, whether it comes to the looks, style of the trick, or struggles of actually doing the trick. One more thing before we're gonna start is, just want to let you guys know, do whatever you want to do on a skateboard, whether somebody looks at a trick as cool or not, it is your choice, if it feels good for you, keep doing it. Surprising result. On the number 10, we have the dolphin flip. Which makes me instantly think of Chris Jen. When I tried to learn a trick switch, I credit carded the heck out of me. Sometimes it's hard to make a difference from a varial flip and a dolphin flip. If you're gonna do them in a game of skate, make them as vertical as possible. It's a cool trick and shockingly, it goes hand in hand with another trick on the top 10, the strawberry milkshake. This trick is also known as a cigarette. It's a pretty fun trick to do. It's pretty easy to learn. So I definitely suggest to give it a go. Number nine. Inward heel flip. Come on guys, what's wrong? We, we got Chris Jocelyn, inward heel flip, Wallenberg. But we got this too. It hurts. It's a trick that gives you a hard time to learn. Try to get that back shove and that heel flip. It's kind of confusing in the beginning, especially. But be courageous. It will pay off. It's an awesome trick. Love doing it, especially Nolly. On the number eight, we have hospital flips or Casper flips, however you want to call them. Eight votes for this trick can be because of the looks. I know my regular ones look kind of weird, but look at this, Freddy Ernst. Boom. That's what you can do if you learn that trick properly. After you finish watching this video, go out and learn that trick. It is so much fun. Let's continue with the sex change. This trick was on a hype, like on a huge hype two years ago, but I never figured out how to do that properly. Some people were more specific with the disco flip, which is a heel flip body varial. In my opinion, awesome trick. Love doing this trick in any stance possible. But I can't imagine this as being hated because it's kind of tricky to learn. Before you're gonna hop to the next trick, even more specifically on the pop shove it sex change. This trick in a game of skate harvests usually a reaction like, dude. And it's not really difficult, but at the same time, doesn't feel really good, but whatever. It is a trick, it is fun. If you wanna annoy people and get some leathers on them in a game of skate, do this trick. Number six, this trick is coming in way too early. One of the most hated maneuvers ever in skateboarding, for what reason ever, the Benny Hanna. There's only one thing you gotta know about Benny Hanna's, don't do them. I think it is a cool looking trick. I cannot make them look really good, but some people can definitely do that. 
For this video I did it on flat, which was kind of stupid. Ronnie Krieger is the hero of doing Benny Hanna's on flat. Yeah, that is some true wizardry. And probably every one of you has seen this recent clip. That is the definition of steez, ladies and gentlemen. Made it halfway through number five, the boneless. How many you ate on that? It's so much fun not popping an ollie once in a while, grabbing your board, jumping to the air. I mean, if you're gonna plant your foot forever, it's probably not that good looking, but it is a fun trick. And it's easy, easy to learn. It's what I teach kids when I give them skate courses. Bowlesses and flat. Okay, you might look better in a transition. Number four with 12 votes. Key no comply. I don't know why you guys are doing this to me. Seriously. No complies are cool, especially if you can flip them with the knee. Might be hard to learn in the beginning, but as soon as you figured it out, you can do this trick to warm up, unlock, super fun trick. Honestly, if there is like one thing that I do not like about no complies is when you do like two foot plans in a row. That is not something that I enjoy to watch, but that is just my personal opinion. All right, now listen, number three, of the most hated tricks in 2020, the heel flip. Neen Williams, guys. It cannot be because of the looks. That cannot be true. But I get it. You spent a lot of time learning kickflips, and now you gotta do another flip with your heel behind your back. It's hard to catch, it's hard to learn. I get that point. It is difficult. But it's definitely worth learning. It's gonna open up whole new opportunities you're gonna unlock a new level as soon as you learn how to heel flip on this one we have also a specific notification the fakey heel flip but some people seem to struggle with it that is because they usually don't practice heel flip as much and unfortunately it's also easy to get rid of your future children by credit carding yourself Second place on this list, the pressure flip. In a matter of flip rotations, this contains some things that we had before. Heel flip, inward heel flip, yeah, and no ollie pop. Even if you've been skating for a long time, it is hard to learn that trick. It took me like two hours of straight going for that trick after 10 years of skating. And I just wanted to learn that trick to defend myself, to be able to defend myself in a game of skate. But as soon as I learned how to do that, it was also opening me new doors to other tricks that had to be scooped. Like a backside big spin, impossible, switch frontside big spin. 
and all that kind of stuff. I know it's always a bummer if somebody does this trick in a game of skate, you're gonna be like, no chance. Would be more likely to win in the lottery than landing that trick. First place, you might have been guessing it, it is still the varial kickflip. Probably holding this place since ever modern street skating was founded. That is trick, a combination of a backside up shove it and kick flip is the most hated trick for some reason. I have a theory. As soon as you learn how to tray flip, you stop practicing varial kick flips because tray flips feel much better. If you do a tray flip, it puts your board right back in the position you want it. Tail still on the back foot. That's good. Like best trick to do in a line, tray flip. And as soon as you do that, you stop practicing varial kickflip because you have to know how to varial kickflip and it's actually easier than tray flips. And at some point, you've been doing so many tray flips and it's so hard to not over rotate your board. I rate this video I did just trick in every stance and it was not really fun I was breaking in new shoes and it actually gave me a hard time but guys just one thing it is not about the looks you can make any trick look good there's Kevin Romer doing this And Nick Fiorini is probably the best person to ever do a burial kickflip on a skateboard. So if you want to blame this trick for the looks, that is a bad excuse. We're through. Now you know what to do. You gotta learn all of these tricks and make them great again. Now I'm asking you guys, what are the best looking or best feeling tricks? Let me know in the comment section. There are some videos right here and you might want to watch them because it's all about difficult tricks. If you want to watch them, just click on them. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video. Thanks for tuning in and hopefully see you soon.